founder of the Healy Man Sanctuary, and I'm also a whistleblower for the less fortunate. Um, yeah, uh, the $900 million, or I mean, excuse me, $900,000 that is going for uh, this uh, enforcement uh, aspect, uh, you got to remember that we used to have a Fairless Square, and that the Fairless Square was a pretty good deal, and it helped a lot of people get around. Um, my issue with the, with the Fairless Square, uh, the problem with that was it didn't expand. It should have expanded up to uh, Washington Park so that people with uh, disabilities and such can have a free ride up to the park because that people that live on a uh, fixed income, uh, even 250, you know, or even, you know, is, 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 is <laughs> not, uh, <clears throat> it's too much. And uh, students, uh, people that need to get around, people who need to make their meetings, people need to go to work, people need to go to school, people need to get around and do the things that they need to do. And uh, any time that you get uh, <clears throat> a subsidy for fair, that helps people get around. And it costs, and it actually lowers the cost, it lowers the crime rate down when people have transportation to get around and get the things done that they need to get done. And uh, I commend Amanda Fritz for recognizing that fact, um, especially for the young folks and the folks that really need it bad. Uh, the subsidy should be there. And, and uh, the reason it's not, um, I, I think is uh, quite obvious, uh, Frank, quite frankly. And uh, we, should, we should really take a hard look at the needs of the people that really need this transportation the most. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning, Commissioners. Maybe not. Is it working? Thank you. I think it is. 